Hi Libra, welcome to your Love Connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Libra, this reading is for um, a connection you believe you have with somebody, whether you're together or not. That is okay. You do have to at least know each other and believe there is a connection there in some way, shape, or form. So this is for someone rising in Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Every little thing may not resonate for you, may not resonate at all. So don't try to make it fit. If it's not your story, check back next time. Or you could check the description box below for your uh, playlist. Maybe something there will resonate. I consider them timeless, even though they're dated. So feel free to check that out. Um... What else? And uh, I guess we'll just get started here. Kind of having a brain freeze. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So if you are single, though, that's what I wanted to say. If you are single, I do have singles reading readings on my channel. Those are intended for people who are wondering when new love is coming in, when will they find somebody new. Um, so you can watch those also if you're single and maybe something there will resonate. So please, like I said, feel free to check that out. Links below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there in the description box. So feel free to check that out. Uh, social media, decks I'm using, how to reach out for personal reading. Tons of stuff. And if you're new, welcome. And uh, feel free to check my channel out. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the little bell. You won't miss out. And I do about four or five readings a month, and they're all different. So... Um, if you do subscribe, thank you, and welcome to the family. So, Libra, hope everybody's doing well and staying safe during this time and healthy. So, let's see what we have for Libra in love for the general collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female at this time. Libra. So, what I'm going to do here, Libra, this is a zodiac oracle. I'm going to pull one of these first. You may or may not resonate with what comes out here. Totally fine. And then with this deck here, this is the um, Magdalene deck. It's a new deck for me. We will pull an opening love connection energy for your uh, connection. And then we'll pull one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. And then another card for the uh, mutual connection, how you, you know, how the connection, you feel about it mutually. And then we'll clarify with the tarot that energy. And then we'll look at the actual situation, advice, guidance, possible outcome, clarity on the bottom of the deck. And then we'll get some angel answers at the end. So let's see what we have here for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. General collective. Well, we have Aries that popped out here. So you could be dealing with an Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If not, Aries does represent the... Um, actually, represents two cards in the tarot. It represents the emperor and it represents the tower. So the tower can be... Um, you know, you see the card with the explode, the building exploding. There can be epiphany, aha moment, a, you know, a change, um, a shock, a surprise. It can be a breakup, shake up, breakdown, uh, something crumbling down. So different meanings there. And then with the uh, emperor, it's about you know taking the lead, control, charge of an energy, situation, person, place, or thing. Somebody who can be like controlling, also sometimes too, or is in control of a situation. So we'll see if any of those uh, play into your reading. We do have Aries here, though, which is number one, which is about new beginnings. So this could be, if it's not an Aries, it could just be the energy of Aries or an energy of one of the cards I explained. So let's see what we have for you, Libra. So let's get an opening energy for you, Libra, in your love connection at this time. Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective spirit, please show me what I need to see for Libra. What is the opening energy for Libra, the collective of Libra, whoever they're thinking about for this reading? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Can we have an open, opening energy for Libra? So we have revelation. So somebody may be revealing something to you. It could be somebody revealing to you how they truly feel. It could be a secret. It could be, um, again, like the tower, an epiphany, aha moment, or something like that. So somebody here could be having a big re revelation about how they feel towards somebody. So we'll see how that plays out. All right. So somebody may be finally taking control and coming forward and saying how they revealing how they truly feel. All right. So... Libra, I'm going to put you here, your person here. 
If at any time you feel throughout this reading that you need to switch or flip the energies, please feel free to do that. All right, so let's get one for Libra and one for their person, how they're feeling about each other and the connection spirit, please, for whoever Libra is thinking about at this time. One for Libra. Okay, I feel that's you and that's you. Your person, um, yet one for the bottom of the deck for the mutual energy. Let's see what we have. So for Libra, we have Mother Mary. So this is a very spiritual energy. Um, you could be very spiritual or very religious, um, but this is, um, you know, a very divinely guided energy. And this is an energy of doing what's moral, just, and right, uh, faith, spirituality, uh, protective energy, um, believing in yourself, believing in connection. So I'm getting like a very protective energy. So maybe you're very protective of this person. Um, but this is being very um, enlightened also. So let's see how your person feels. We have int intimacy. So I guess they want to be intimate with you. And that can be in all ways. That could be, it could be just for having fun. <laughs> that could be um, intimate, you know, mind, body, and soul. Or it could just be body. I don't know. We'll find out. I feel like you're more on the sacral, sacred side, like to be intimate with somebody, you have to be totally invested. For some of you, maybe even married or in a committed relationship. You know, I feel like some of you just don't jump in the sack, you know, and this person may just want that. They may be just coming up to you, like being very bold and saying, hey, you know, let's go have some fun. And you may be like, I'm getting like a very um, pure kind of energy. I'm not saying that you're pure and innocent, but I don't think you um, are one for like one night stands and that kind of energy either. So let's see what the mutual energy is. Love. So I guess there is love here between the two of you. There is love. And they want to be intimate with you in every way, shape, form, mind, body, soul. Or if they just want to be intimate, you're hoping that if you're intimate with them that it's coming from a place of love and not just the act so we'll see when we get into the tarot here what the intentions are with this person. But there is a big re revelation here of some sort. So let's see what we have for Libra. What's going on? But we do have love for the mutual connection. So we shall see. I mean, they could be in the energy of telling you that they love you just to be intimate with you. And you're being, you know, you may be in the energy of wanting to be intimate with them, hoping they're doing it from a place of just purity and love and not just to be intimate. Because the Aries can be very uh, bold, daring, um, not shy at all, very forward, or the energy of Aries. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's get two, two for each card. We'll clarify your energy with two, their energy with two, and the neutral energy with two. All right, there's two for you. Two for them, two for them, feeling these two, and two for the mutual energy, spirit please, thank you so much, two for the mutual energy, for Libra, one, I'm feeling the bottom one actually, okay, let's see what we have for you, Libra, we have judgment and the seven wands, yeah, I feel like you're trying to decide here, um, I'm going to mention the signs that I see, so if they're not in Aries. If I do mention their, their sign, you know, that's good. If not, that's totally fine. It's all just energy. So either this is going to resonate or it won't. So we have judgment here with Scorpio and the seven of wands of being defensive. So I feel like you're trying to judge whether or not they are pure and honest, if this is a place from love or if they just want, you know, to have a little bit of fun. So you might be a little defensive and on guard about this. Like, geez, I don't know. You know, is this pure? Is this honest? Is this true? Or, you know, are they just wanting to have some fun? So let's see what their energy is. So we have the Five of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So the Five of Wands is conflict. But the Eight of Wands is a very fiery, passionate, energetic energy. It's travel, action, movement. So they definitely want to be intimate with you. And I'm feeling like, like right away. <laughs> And they're trying really hard to fight for it here. Or they may, they may know that you may put up a little bit of a fight. But I think they're going to try really hard here um, 
to move this forward. Oh boy, so let's see what the mutual energy is. So we have the Emperor, and there's the Emperor coming up, coming up, like I said, in the Devil. Wow. So the Devil can talk of toxic energy, and the Emperor again, so we have Capricorn Aries again. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, the coming forward as an Emperor, you know, wanting to move this forward, wanting to come in quick, a lot of drive and passion, and they're, they're going to fight for this, you know, they're coming in the Emperor again, but you feel, I think, still feel like you feel like it's not coming from a space of, like, love, like, true, like, true love or love. I feel like you feel like it's maybe just lust for them. And if you feel like they're deceiving you or you're not trusting this and you're, like, having that, like, judging this in your, you know, in your head, then... Trust your gut and your intuition that if you feel it's just um, the lust, then it may be. So, you know, you need to trust that, what your gut is telling you. So let's see what's coming. Let's see what's coming up here. Let's get the actual situation. Because they definitely, you know, have their wand in their hand here. So, all right, Libra. But you're, it's like you're on the defense here with this devil energy, like... You're really on guard and the seven of wands. It's like you're judging, really judging this like, geez, I don't know. So I don't know if this is someone you're dating or someone that, um, I'm assuming it probably would be someone you're dating or like in and out energy for a while here. And you're just not sure, you know, where this is going, where it's leading to. So what else do we have here? So we have the queen of pentacles and the moon. So, you know, the Queen of Pentacles here can be um, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Nope, oh, there goes my water. And we do have uh, Cancer Pisces with the Moon. So the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you're very, it's like the Empress energy, very strong, grounded. Um, you have, eth you know, ethics and morals kind of energy. And you don't like secrets. The Moon can be about secrets, you know, not seeing the path clearly. Kind of energy, you know, can be about fears. I think you are you have fears that they're trying to disillusion you. Um, you can also talk about deep feelings. So you may feel, you may fear that you feel more for them than they feel for you. Because you're sitting in this empress energy. And it's like, I'm not going to take any, you know, energy if it's just for lust and passion. And that's it. You know, it's like, that's what I feel. You rather have a stable pentacle than just this fiery energy that comes in and then may just turn around and leave. So what else do we have here? So now we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so this is about faith, spirituality, marriage, commitment, um, doing what's moral, just and right. Yeah, that's what I had just said. And we have Taurus here. So I feel like you you actually may not sleep with them until you actually get like a full-blown commitment or, you know, you know for a fact they're only seeing you or you're just, you know... Um, exclusively exclusively with each other otherwise i think this is a no-go for you <laughs> no go for you i think with mother mary and the hierophant i think you're a very uh ethical moral kind of person so let's see let's get more here let's get more here that's oh, too many it was like five a few more four more here for this situation please page of swords so it could be spying on each other here. See, you know, what they're see what they're up to, you know, what are they doing when they're not with you? You know, can I trust this person? They could be spying on you. Uh, what is she doing now? Or he, she, whatever here. Um, this is open, honest, truthful com communication. So I feel like this person is going to be very blunt and honest with you, tell you exactly what they want kind of energy. The five of swords. Yeah, that I feel like they're not going to give up. Two fives. Here, five of wands and the five of swords. So they may see you as a challenge. <laughs> so the five of swords, they're, they're not going to give up here. They're going to do whatever they can here to uh, get what they want from you, I feel. All right, so let's see. Wow, okay, those just went flying. Oh, I got two. So we have the Nine of Cups in Reversed and the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is a very fiery, passionate energy. 
So that could be Aries. So there's the Aries coming out again. And we have the Nine of Cups in reversed. So, I mean, the Nine of Cups is about, you know, happiness, joy, wishes and dreams coming true. So I feel like they're not getting what they want with you at all with this Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not happy about it. They do have a lot of, you know, queen, king or queen doesn't matter. They do have a lot of drive, ambition, fire, and passion. And I feel like because they're not getting this passionate energy back from you, they are not happy at all in this situation. <laughs> you may be the type that may not, you know, do this to tell you, like I said, either like living together or totally, totally committed or you get a promise ring or maybe for some tell you even get married, you know, and this is very frustrating to them. All right, so let's see here. Let's get some advice and guidance for you. Advice and guidance for you. So we have the high priestess. So, you know, this is about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. And this is all, also can be about keeping to yourself. So you definitely are keeping your energy to yourself. This is your um, advice or guidance. So trust your intuition, like I had said at the beginning. Um, your inner guidance, if you feel like, you know, they're only going to come and go for the passion and that's it. This is like keeping to yourself, definitely here. So the hermit. <laughs> hermit. Oh my God, Virgo energy here. Yeah, keeping to yourself. You may just withdraw from them, go into hermit mode to see actually how much do they actually really care. If I draw back my energy totally, not give anything to them, will they care enough to try, you know, to stay with this or will they just leave because I'm not giving them what they want? And also this is about deep thinking, contemplation, enlightenment here. This looks like this, the sun energy there. So, so you're thinking hard about this. The Ten of Swords in reverse. So that's refusing. I feel like, you know, the Ten of Swords, I feel in reverse is, you know, something not coming to an end or something taking a long time to come to an end or something re or refusing to let something end. So I, I don't feel like you want to end it with them. So let's see what else. Why is that here? This is your advice or guidance. Two of Pentacles. So this is about, you know, weighing the pros and cons, uh, juggling the situation. Okay, what else here for the advice for Libra? I feel like you want to try to work it out, work it out with them. I don't think you want to end it with them because I do think you love them. But you want a commitment. You, you know, you want a steady commitment. And I feel like they have a lot of, tend to have a lot of in and out energy. Just a lot of fiery, passionate energy. They come, they go. Maybe they're, you know, not, you know, re maybe they're kind of refusing to commit. So maybe you're like in the energy of like, well, you know, I'm not giving you my cookies anymore if you're not going to, you know, <laughs> commit. And they're getting frustrated. So, but, you know, the two pentacles here is about trying to work this out, trying to balance this out, find, trying to find the balance. So why is that here? Seven of Pentacles. So again, this is the assessing, analyzing. How can we balance this out? How can we make it work? Seven of Pentacles is about, you know, patiently waiting. So I think you're keeping them waiting and then they don't like it. So again, this is assessing, analyzing, reviewing, um, invest, not to invest, juggling, trying to balance. Don't think, you know, Ten of Swords here is like, don't end it yet, but... Ultimately, it'll be up to you trusting your intuition and a lot of deep reflecting on this. You may withdraw your energy. So it may help to redraw your energy. And they may come back with some balance here and say, okay, how can we, you know, work this out? So let's see what the um, possible outcome could be here, Libra. So I'm getting for some of you, this is a situation where you're not fully committed yet. Um... Or if there was a breakup that's like in and out and it's not like totally come back together yet. All right. So what else? What could be the possible outcome? So we have the sun. So this is a good energy. Leo energy here. So, you know, this is about happiness, joy, success, victory, you know, enlightenment. We have enlightenment, enlightenment. So what, you know, whatever was being hidden with the high priestess or so secrets will be enlightened here. 
All right. You know, maybe they have fear of self-commitment. Uh, maybe they'll reveal why they have fear of commitment um, or why they're back and forth or whatever here. But let's see what else here. <sighs> so we have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So the Three of Swords is heartache and pain, and the Ten of Wands is laying down heavy burdens. Oh, boy. Let's get one more. So this is the possible outcome. I mean, the Sun is, you know, the pos most positive card in the deck, but you may end up breaking their heart and, you know, saying, you know, I can't do this anymore, just going off on your own and healing on your own journey to your own happiness and leaving them kind of out in the cold here. But we do have success and victory here with the Six of Wands. So, you know, laying down the heavy burdens tends about ending, so you may decide to break their heart a little bit and say, you know, I'm done for a while here unless, you know, we can really have success and victory. We've got two cards of success and victory with a little bit of heartache in the middle and kind of giving up. So there may be a little bit of giving up and heartache to be had for this to come back together for total enlightenment, healing, you know, success, victory, and a positive outcome. So the energy is here for the positive outcome. So let's get um, five cards from the bottom of the deck just to get more energy. So we have the King of Swords, so this is Gemini, and the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer. We have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands. So I see here, you know, the King of Swords is Truth, Clarity, so my Divine Clarity Intervention card. The Queen of Cups, very intuitive, again with the High Priestess, uh, very you know, healing kind of energy, you know, love and emotions, caring, nurturing. So I feel like they're in more in this logical energy and you're more in this loving energy. Um, but we do have the Ace of Wands and it's that fire and passion again. So this is like a spark, brand new beginning between the two of you. Six of Cups. So this is a soulmate energy here. You could have had past lives with this person. You could have known them since childhood. There could be children involved um, or somebody from the past returning. So if there is... A little bit of a, you know, walking away or, you know, ending and heartache. I do see soulmates coming back together, you know, because it will lead to a crossroads here with the two of wands. You know, this little bit of an ending and heartache, heartbreak will lead to a crossroads. But I see a soulmate returning, still having a passionate beginning between two. And, you know, logically looking at this connection and also feeling the love and emotions between two. So that's what I'm, you know, and the King of Swords is about truth, clarity, open, honest communication, um, and that kind of energy. So I see open communication and love being shared, which will lead to passionate new beginning. Soulmates coming back together after a crossroads here of maybe of letting go and breaking, you know, a little bit of heartache, but success and victory in the long run. That's kind of what I see. So I feel like, you know, an ultimatum. You know, saying, you know, well, that's it. I'm not just going to do this in and out energy. Kind of giving them an ultimatum and with taking back your energy, withdrawing from them may actually uh, push them back towards you. I'm not saying, like, to purposely do that. But if you feel like, you know, if you've been thinking about that, do that and see what happens. All right. So some of you may just decide to go off on your own and, you know, have happiness somewhere else. But, um... I think it does have an opportunity to come back together. All right, so what is some of the closing messages here for Libra? What are the messages do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female for the general collective. Ask your angels again, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Trust, trust in that. All right, what else here? Pray, meditate whatever you need to do. You are ready. So they're definitely ready, that's for sure. <laughs> but I think you're more ready for a commitment. It's something long-lasting than just um, being intimate and not sure where it's going. I think you want to know where this is going before you're intimate is more what I want to say. A year from now. Wow. So I'm not getting like a year from now. That could be a year... Within a year, that could be, you know, a timeline of a year, like if something happened a year ago at this time, or, you know, say six months ago, something happened, you know, a year from that time. So I would say 
something significant, a significant point in your relationship or in this connection a year from that timeline or within the year. All right, what else here for Libra? Don't stop. So I, I feel like they, they definitely <laughs> going to try to pursue you, pursue you, and pursue you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Reconsider. So I think you need to make them reconsider. Again, you know, we have the sword there, which reminds me of the Ace of Swords, which is about epiphany, aha moment, you know, truth, clarity, um, cutting away energy no longer serving, and divine energy. So I think maybe you need to make them reconsider. You know, if you have been giving them your energy intimately, uh, make them reconsider a little bit and see what happens. That's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, Libra, um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.